all my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a cooking with Jackie and we're going to be making squash spaghetti. So you all want all those carbs and all that starch and like meat. I'm going to show you how to make it with this beautiful baby. And they are in season. You probably see them all in the grocery stores and wondering what to do with them. So we're going to do that and then also I'm going to make my spaghetti sauce. So first thing we're going to do is cut the squash down the middle long wise. Oh my gosh, um, so where it's the wise, if you are using a spaghetti squash, you might lose a finger trying to cut it. It is so hard to cut. Like, yeah, apparently if you have a microwave, you can stick it in the microwave for five to six minutes and then let it cool and then cut it. Um, I don't have a microwave because I don't use microwaves. I just use the stove or the oven. Um, hmm. And I don't really feel like heating it up. So I'm just gonna almost lose a finger. Don't do this at home. Okay, so after taking all of the seeds out, which you can put to the side and save for later, then I am going to drizzle some olive oil on here and sprinkle some salt and pepper and turn them around, poke some holes in them and put them on my baking pan. So if you have tricky people in your family and you don't know if they're gonna like the spaghetti squash, just make some regular spaghetti. Cause DC, he's kind of eh. And Nova can be kind of funny too, so. Just throw some in some water and just have these ready as well. So we're gonna leave the squash in the oven for about an hour or so. I'm gonna keep checking in on it, but about an hour should be sufficient at 350 degrees. Now we are going to make this sauce. We're gonna drizzle some olive oil. I chopped up some tomatoes, so we're gonna add the tomatoes. Next, we're gonna add a full can of diced tomatoes, this is basil, garlic, and oregano. Then I'm gonna add whole tomatoes that are already peeled. Then some hunts paste. I'm gonna add some pepper, thyme, Italian seasoning. Garlic powder, garlic salt, brown sugar, two bay leaves, and a couple tablespoons of garlic. And that's pretty much it for the sauce. I actually forgot to saute my onions. This is what you should do first. So I'm gonna cut half of a red onion. I'm gonna saute it in my other skillet. And then when it's done sauteing after a couple minutes, I'm going to also throw it into my spaghetti sauce. Okay, now with this sauce, you really wanna your time with it so you don't want it to be up high I have it kind of medium low right now and you really just want to give the flavors a chance to marry with each other and so I'm going to stir it and I'm going to continuously stir it for probably as long as the squash is going in the oven honestly Next, I'm going to take this meatless Italian sausage. Now, I've never tried this one before. I love trying new things. So I'm going to give this one a try. It's made out of like chickpea flour and kidney beans. So really good for you. We'll see how it tastes. So I'm gonna add that in another skillet and let this fry up. Okay, so I'm tasting the Italian sausage. It's actually really, really good. Um, some Texas garlic toast if you have your own bread. You just put some butter and garlic. 
put some salt on it, but I have this prepared and ready to stick in the oven. And the Italian sausage is pretty much done, so I'm going to throw that over here into my spaghetti sauce. Okay, I actually turned up the temperature a little bit because they were taking a while, so I've put them up to 430 degrees. And you see how easily you can put your knife through. And that is what you want. Easy peasy. Now I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna put the garlic toast in the oven. Oh, look at that. A couple seeds in there still. Just keep those out. So now the fun part, take your knife and literally we're just gonna go like that and make our spaghetti. The voila, the final product is it, the squash spaghetti. Mmm, mm, it's a baguette. And then I made a little side salad, and that is the garlic bread. So yummy, so healthy. Not have to worry about all of those carbs. Mm, 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 mm. All right, you guys, that is the final product. My aunt is, what, how is it? Mm, they're so delicious. So delicious. You heard of that? Ooh, I'm so excited to try it. I've kind of been tasting long enough, so I know it tastes really good. Make sure you guys hashtag cooking with Jackie so that I can see whatever renditions you make of my meals. If you like cooking videos, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy your food. I know I will. Bon appetit. John just tried the spaghetti squash and he said, what'd you say? That's what she was. What'd you say it tastes like? The noodles are so good. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, how do you like it? It was so good.